Good morning, Katrina. How are you today? Mm, I'm great. How are you? It looks sunny there. It's pouring I'm good. rain here. I'm going to call it, oh, it's, it's, sunny, uh, it's sunny here in Seattle area. And the opposite. So, yeah. yeah, so we have your rain. Fair. Great. We're, I'm, <laughs> we're going to call this Coffee with Katrina. That's a good, I think that's a good title for this. Yeah. So I'm, on my I'm on my second mug. I'm on my second mug. Well, this is good. We got a, we're going to talk about some cool stuff today. Um, how's, how's everything going up there? I know you're, you're in Canada, the city of Alberta in you the great state of Ontario, this... which yeah. borders Vancouver, right? I got it. I am so buying you an Atlas. <laughs> this is an ongoing joke Katrina and I have. Um, I just, I butcher. The... And you basically live on the border. That's the worst part. It's not even like you're yeah. in Texas anymore. No, I, I have no excuse. I'm like British Columbia. I just re I just learned that British Columbia was like the big thing, and Br Vancouver was the city. I thought <laughs> Vancouver was the whole thing. Um, <laughs> hashtag stuff I, Americans say. Yeah, I, sorry yeah, about that. Just, you know, I, I have to I have to go and heat the fire in my igloo. One second, I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> you have Wi-Fi we, we, in your igloo? We'll, we won't get into the curling thing, but yeah, the, how's everything going up there? Because right now, as we're recording this, it's uh, March thirty first, so mm -hmm. we're in deep covid coronavirus yeah we um we're in i live in a rural town so for us it's it's okay um everyone around here is doing a really good job of like respecting the whole social distancing and yeah. like you know everyone's staying in and luckily my husband's still working but very limited like access yeah. to people which is great yeah. um but yeah like we're you know we're not in toronto by any means so like mm -hmm. you know i i don't need to leave the house every moment and um yeah. so yeah so i think it's a little easier where i live for sure but Good. you know it's starting to hit home when you go places and you're limited to one person in the grocery store and yeah but yeah but i think you guys are having a harder time it seems in the states well, yeah place, washington in your I mean, area. This is, yeah seattle area this is where it all kind of started in yeah. the states at least and uh yeah, so I mean, it's it's kind of crazy. It was I had to drive somewhere the other day. We've been we've been like totally isolated, but I had yeah. to drive somewhere the other day, and the city buses. You know how they can program the back of the sign to say something? It oh said, yeah. Stay, it said "Stay home, save lives," and I was like, oh, yeah. "What a weird time we live in right now, right?" Like right? the bus is saying, "Don't take me, just stay right. home." Well, the <laughs> Kyle and I had to drive somewhere on Friday and um, and like literally just do one quick like errand and we ended up passing like I'm guessing like a I don't know I'm guessing like a family or something that was playing at a ball diamond and I'm like oh my god they're gathering like but like right. it actually like what are you doing? resonate <laughs> right? I'm yep. like oh my god like this is sinking in or like we watched um a movie the other night and there was a house party i'm like they can't be having a house party i'm like wait it's a movie katrina like it's sinking in so like becoming so real i guess that, yeah like, my brain is just now you know and here in ontario they're starting to limit things some gatherings below five people yeah. and like oh, yeah, yeah it's just such a weird time like you said such a weird time such a weird time and it's affecting everybody and so yep. one of the things i want to talk about with you and we're going to showcase some stuff today is the very popular pay what you want or pay what you can or you know whatever you want to call it and mm -hmm. so we're going to show some stuff uh like that but first we have had a record number of new users sign up this month Crazy. in march um so thank you all new users who are watching this like yay. yay we set like the top and so for our new users i know sometimes people get like recommended a tool and they come in and they're like i don't really get it i know we see this in a collaborative all the time um and so one of the like the hardest questions to answer for, for me is what is member vault? Like what, mm -hmm. like what do we do? And so I'm curious, like, I'm just going to ask you Katrina, like what, when oh, someone asks see. you, like, let's say someone hits up chat and they're like, Hey, so I don't get it. What is member vault? Mm -hmm. Um, so my kind of, I guess would be like my, my standard ish answer. Cause I change it probably every time I don't have a copy yeah. paste answer. Um, but essentially content hosting platform that's based on um, encouraging relationship building and engagement with your audience. And it's a place where you keep all of your content essentially. So all of your offers and an offer in yeah. Member Vault is a product. Um, and ideally you're driving people to your Member Vault site so that they can organically see what you have to offer. 
and purchase or opt into your products at a time that is right for them, when the offer is right for them. It's not built on like the traditional funnel system. We believe in more of that organic binge and buy yeah. um, methodology. And so that's really like, you know, it's not necessarily meant to replace your website, although some people have chosen to do so, but it's meant to complement it. Right. I love that. That's good. That's usually my answer. And you brought up some words that like, I, I totally like forgot about with like, you know, like driving engagement and, you know, mm -hmm. trust and stuff like that. You know, I know I typically say like, it's, it's a platform that can host all of your digital products. So that can mm -hmm. mean a course. It doesn't have to mean a course. It could be a course, it could be a membership, it could be an ebook. Uh, yep. We've had people actually sell out events on yep. here. Like there's all kinds of things that you can sell. If it's a, if you could sell it digitally, you can, you can sell it um, here and mm -hmm. it hosts digital products such as your freebies as well. And of course the, our kind of shtick from day one was, wouldn't it be cool if, you know, you offer these freebies, you get people come in the door and they were able to just binge on all of your content and see all the other things that you have. Mm -hmm offer right there and I think that's gonna like curtail so good into this pay what you want because uh, times like this everyone's like stuck at home we're all like looking for new things um, and so this is where member vault allows your users to kind of get into your account like really dive in and engage with your brand um, mm. and then buy what they want like you said buy what they want when they want right yeah um, and the cool yeah. The cool thing for us as the owners of these uh, member vault accounts is that we get to see and track all that activity. So I think that's yeah. really cool. We get too. to get nerdy. Yeah. Nerdy. Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that Rosie? Do I hear Rosie? Uh, she is actually snoring under my desk. So if you hear, <laughs> I thought I heard and she, something in it. yeah, she, she might be, she tends to do, um, I, I think it's when she's barking in her sleep, but it sounds like she's giggling. So she'll, you'll hear like a, and it's really, I think she's barking in her sleep and it's the funniest, cutest thing ever. So yeah, if you hear random noises, um, it's probably yeah, that's what it is. Dirty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. Oh man. I, I love Rosie. So, um, yeah, so yeah, that's, I think that's a, that's a good place to start for anyone new coming in. Like, you know, kind of like what is member vault. So, um, you're in the right place. If you have these things, I always say, if you have an audience or an intended audience, at least, yes. and you have um, digital products or services that you offer. If you have those two things, mm -hmm. you can use member vault to yeah, connect, and I think connect those two. You got an audience and you got products and services. How do you connect those? Yeah. And the traditional way is like, let me, let me throw out a freebie. So they get on the email list and then funnel. I spam them with a funnel until they unsubscribe. Yeah. Um, maybe they buy and yeah. you know, we're, flipping that around and we're saying, no, 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 no. Why would you do that? <laughs> Instead, well, exactly. I mean, let I people in and let them, what, yeah. I was gonna say, I think like one of the things I've seen recently too from a lot of users, I say a lot of users, but I'm, I'm thinking of a few specific conversations I've had recently of people who came to Member Vault with that, what we say, bro marketing, traditional funnel, right? Yeah. Like down sell, up sell, side sell, this sell, whatever. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and who maybe were a little bit resistant to the member vault methodology of that organic mm -hmm. buying experience. Yeah. And still wanted to use the platform because they like the format of it, they like the framework of it. Sure. Um, who now have like totally converted over to this binge and buy organic methodology because they see that it works and it allows their people, to, they don't have to wait for four months from now when you do another funnel launch, right. they can buy that product today if that's what they're needing today. Right. Right. Um, and so and it's been interesting to see in the last like year or two people that are, you know, kind of push back on, on the way we kind of view things and who have now come around yep. to the, this yeah. actually works. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I've seen more of that too, where, um, in the past it was people would have their member vault just linking out the click funnels pages and stuff like yes. that. And now they're, they're flipping that a little bit and they're like, let's just keep it. Mm -hmm. It actually, it works better here and it's easier. That's the best part. And yeah. what we always come back to here, um, I, just so everyone else knows, I, of course, you know, Katrina, mm -hmm. uh, is what is, what is like user centric? Like what is best mm -hmm. for our users, you know? Yeah. And I think we always come back to that question of like, mm -hmm. okay, what's going to be best for our users. And so like not making them wait a week to go through your goofy funnel and to offer them something that's why would you control that? Like 
yeah. allow allow that kind of stuff to happen. And uh, what we're talking about today is another kind of user focused thing that has mm -hmm. kind of popped up uh, clearly with with everything going on right now, and the economy mm -hmm. is a little unstable, and like what's going to yeah. happen? Everyone's a little unsure. And, um, and so we've had a number of users say like, Hey, how can I do a pay what you want? And clearly we couldn't just rush a feature where like you, there's a slider yet. I wish. Yeah. Um, but there are ways to do it. And we wanted to kind of showcase that today. So perfect. Let's dive are in. You, are you ready? Are you excited to talk about pay? I'm what excited. You want? I am. You know what? I've actually, I really love seeing the engagement in our Facebook group in, you know, call it what the last three weeks or so. Yeah when you know people are starting to adjust to their new norm unfortunately some people are laid off work so now they're trying to you know expand into what was going to be a side hustle for them or they're looking to take their business to more of the online space and the um enthusiasm behind pay mm -hmm. what you want products has just kind of been this big trickle effect like people who never yeah. ever thought about doing it before are now like oh my gosh this is a great way to be of service to my people yeah this yeah. is really flexible and, you know, and then there's also the people who were very resistant. Like, you know, mm -hmm. I've, I've encountered some people who are like, I would never do that. Like, why would I take less for my product than what I yeah. say it's worth? And I'm like, well, there's a lot of valid, like, you know, mm -hmm. obviously it's not meant to be a revenue generator. It's meant to be of service and support to your people, but you know, yeah. may not be for everybody, but it is such a cool concept if you're open to it. I um, mean, if you right. understand the reasonings right. behind why you would want to do it. Yep. Yep. I mean, I, I, we're doing that here at Member Vault too, where, you know, we've, um, we've delayed a bunch of payments and like where mm -hmm. people can upgrade for free right now. And so we are, we're taking, we're taking, uh, we're taking less for our service right now, but that's okay because we want people to be served right. and stay here. And you know what I mean? Like we can all get through this. So You're I think coming from it from a place of service. Yeah, exactly. Now, again, we're not going to tank our own business in service of that. Like, Right. There has to be, but I think what's really interesting is that uh, people that have been doing this pay what you want have actually, um, the fear, I think let's just get it out there, right? What's yeah. the fear? What's the fear around pay what you want? I would say probably the top fear is that people are going to pay nothing for your product. Yep. <clears throat> You're going to have people come in and just grab it for free and run away with it. Um, if you give them the option of paying zero or they're going to pick the least um, in the least expensive option that you provide them with. Right. So, and so people are thinking that they're just going to be losing revenue. And I said, I said this to a friend the other day who I was, they're not in the digital space. I was trying to explain to them, Hey, what you want and the whole shebang. And they're like, well, why, like, why would you sell your product for less than what it's worth? <clears throat> and I said, well, for me personally, one, I want to be of service and support right now. So I want to do what I can to get people to answer the problem that people are having that I can help them solve. So whatever industry business you're in. Um, and I want, I would rather be having 10 people grab my product and getting benefit from it at maybe a fraction of the price mm -hmm. than nobody buying it at the fair, at the, yeah. at the normal price or just one. Right. Yeah. Like, so you've got to be looking at it over like a big picture perspective. <clears throat> and I sent out an email to my audience um, earlier this week about pay what you want and the kind of great debate behind it. And my logic is, is that if you're, if you're thinking about creating a pay what you want product to generate revenue for your business, you're doing it for the wrong reason. Cause that's yeah. not the intention of a pay what yeah. you want product. So if, if that is a big fear that you're going to take a loss of revenue, then you're coming at it from the wrong perspective, because if anything, you're actually giving more of a revenue generating opportunity because mm -hmm. you're now going to probably have 40 people get your product. Yes. They might not pay full price. Yep. But you're serving 40 people versus serving one right. potentially at the full price. Right. So, um, you know, and, and I can tell you from firsthand experience, like, People don't shortchange you. People yep. pay what they That's feel what it's cool. Right? Like I like in my own product, I've been blown away at what I've seen just from the data alone of, you know, people, you know, thinking people are gonna grab it for free. They actually don't. They pay something yep. in most cases, right? Um, so, and I think a lot of it has to do too with your audience in general, but and I just oh, popped up on the screen. I was like, let's right let's I know that account. 
we're yeah so we're gonna go we're gonna go through four for through four quick examples of live accounts that are actually doing pay what you want right now um nice. and the first one is yours <laughs> so <laughs> katrina scarlet dot uh vip member and yep. we'll put the links into this too um yeah. so yes so subtle details so, so this is your uh, this is your business. Of course, you That's work here at Vault, but you also yep. <laughs> you also got your own thing too, which is awesome. And um, of course, everything should just center around Shit's Creek gifts. Right, yes. absolutely. So I love that. Um, <laughs> so your your account looks awesome. Now here's what Thank I love you. about yours. When I was checking this out, so you actually you leaned full into it, and you even put like the banner. So I don't know mm -hmm. if everyone can see that, but like even right on top of there. So like you have like free training. This product is free training. Uh, mm. This one is pay what you want. Then member of all mastery. I love that graphic too. Um, so yeah, so this is really cool. Like I'm able to mm. like just see everything at a glance. And um, of course, I'd probably start out at the free training to see like, okay, let, let's see what let's see what this is about. And then yeah. after that, like a pop into here, pay, pay what and I like it, you said pay what feels good. Um, yeah, a, I don't, <clears throat> I'm not necessarily a huge fan of the term pay what you can. Yeah. Um, or pay what you want, like pay what you can, I think is actually better than pay what you want. Mm -hmm. Cause some people can, some people just want to pay $1, but they can pay more. <laughs> right. right. So I yeah. think like to me right now, especially if we consider the scenario that we're working in, yep. um, from a global perspective is like, I want people to feel comfortable yep. when they go through the purchase process with me that like, they're not, they're not in purchasers remorse. Right. Like, oh my God, I can't believe I just paid a hundred dollars or whatever it is for that. Right. Thing. I want them to say, to walk away being like, you know what? I am comfortable that I paid $10 for that. And yep. that feels good to me right now based on my budget and my current scenario. So yeah, yep. pay what feels good is a, is a better term in that book. Yeah, yeah, so I love it. So you have pay what feels <laughs> good. Of course, we can see everything that's go that they're going to get mm -hmm. here. And that's one of the things I love about Member Vault. They're able to see all this. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not gonna read this right here, um, but here's what's cool. So how did you do it? Right? Because Member Vault yep. is not really built to do pay what you want. So here's we're using coupon codes. I think this is the most popular way to do it. So let's yeah. say so you can say pay 15 reduces the price to $15. I love how you did it that too. You, mm -hmm. The coupon codes weren't for what's off, but it's what you're going to pay. So that's I, wanted to, I, I didn't want to make them have to do the math. That was my Look at that. I wanted, See? yeah. <laughs> You are, you are a living, breathing example of user centric. <laughs> I love this. So, right. So, so pay $15, $10, $5 or $0. So you have yeah. all those options there. And so, um, if you click on any of the locks or if you click on let the learning begin, uh, you can see this pops up here and then, you know, so it's $29, but I can add the coupon mm -hmm. code and type in pay 15. Voila. It's $15. Yeah. Uh, pay 10. It's $10. Pay five, $5 and pay zero. Oops. If I type it right, pay zero, yep. zero dollars. So Got it. that's it, you know? And then of course, <laughs> yeah. if you, if it is zero dollars, you'll see that, um, of course they don't have to put in, uh, you know, a, a payment method, you know, because yeah. it's not, <laughs> I think it's, it's cause you had something so. to select. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Got it. So, um, so that's, that's cool. I think that's, that's a great way to do it. So they, they can actually like type in what they want to pay. It's not mm -hmm. as clean as like just type in whatever number, but I do think that um, that it's a great, I think this is plenty of options, right? It's like, it's like how many options do you really need? Like someone's like, well, yeah. I would have paid $6. Like, I don't think that's a thing. So, yeah. so that is, can I ask you, uh, well, hell, now that I got you here, um, yeah. how did you come up with those, with those breakdowns? I mean, obviously they're in increments of five and <clears throat> yeah. I kind of just, I thought about it from a perspective of if I was coming to this product and I was going to consider purchasing it, like, like mm -hmm. from a psychology standpoint, increments of five is super easy. Right. Yeah. So, um, and of course, like I said, with the pay, the actual like, um, coupon telling you what you're paying rather than being like mm -hmm. 35 off and then having to figure out what 35 is going to cost yeah. you. Right. Like 35 off means. Um, so yeah, so for me, it was the product itself is priced at $29. It's not a high ticket price to begin with. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I, from, from, a like, I don't, I'm a self-centric perspective too. I said, okay, like what as the seller, mm -hmm. what increments feel good to me too, right? Yeah. Like, would I be okay taking $15 for this? Would I be okay taking $10 for yep. this? Right. Cause I think, I think some 
parts of what I'm seeing happening with this whole kind of pay what you want concept surge is some people feeling pressured um, mm -hmm. and feeling like they have to give people like six different options. I'm like, well, no, at the end of the day, it still has to feel yeah. good to you, not just the yeah. purchaser. So um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I just kind of looked at it and went, you know what, if I was buying this and also too, like, this product is specific for people who use active campaign who yep. are looking to get up and running quickly using member vault. Yep. So these people are probably coming in, um, you know, a bit frazzled, a bit, yeah. you know, um, feeling maybe a little bit lost because if they've lost their normal stream of revenue and they're trying to get mm -hmm. up quickly, things yeah. like that, that, you know, I want to keep it as low price as possible for them. And I don't, and if you read the sales copy, which obviously you're, you're not going to for this, but if you read it, yeah. it will tell you like, I don't want price being the reason you don't do that training. Right. Right. So for me, I'm okay with zero. I'm okay with five. I'm okay with 10. Like yeah. I can't put in every dollar amount. It would just be overwhelming. Right. right. right? So, um, so yeah, so for me, it was just kind of landing on first thinking about it from their perspective, what would make it easiest for them, you know, and most people will throw out a $5 bill easily when they go to yeah. Starbucks or for our case, Tim Hortons, right? Like that, that's an easy number for people to comprehend, right? So I like the increments of five and from psychology standpoint, it's an easy contrast for people. But <clears throat> the interesting thing that I will say, so I, I'm going to be honest, I actually didn't um, fully check my numbers this morning because it's been a crazy yeah. morning. But when I last, I, I think I've had now probably about 30 people purchase that product in that area. Oh, wow. Okay, nice. Yeah. Um, and up until yesterday, not a single person had grabbed it for free. Wow. So I've now, I've, now, yeah. I've now had one person grab it for free, which is awesome because, again, yeah. I don't want price yeah. being what's holding them back from doing it. So when I actually mm -hmm. saw that one came in, for on the free coupon, I was like, yes, okay. Somebody actually like yeah. did that. I'm okay with that. But, yeah. but I would say the average yeah. is the top, is the top coupon $15. Yeah. And, and here's what's cool. Here's three, what's cool. I'm just going to say too. before I forget, oh, I'm sorry. I've had four, I've, that's okay. I've had four people now pay full price. Wow. So even with all those options, people are like, I'm just going to go for it. Exactly. Right. But again, yeah. I also think we should also add in that like a pay what, if you're doing a pay what you want product right now, because of the scenario we're in, because you're wanting to offer like a, a good solution to people who are struggling, you're not doing pay what you want on a $2,000 product. Right. And you're not doing it on a product that you've been offering for a year. You're doing it on something that is immediate right now that offers an immediate need to people who are faced with this particular pain point, right? So like it's right. something that serves an immediate need and you know, you're not still doing, you know, a $2,000 pay what you want product where yeah. like you've got an increment now of 1500, right. 1200, like, right. So I think there's, you've got to have some of that, that balance too. But yeah, so I've had four, four people when I last checked were paid full price. So yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Right? And most people, most people choose in the middle. But here's, here's yeah. what I think is, is, is something that people are forgetting because they're like, oh no, oh no, I don't want to like, I don't want to, people, people might grab this for free, right? Yes, yeah. people might grab this for free. But do you know the trust that builds up, you know, with somebody too? Right. Because here's the, here's, here's the thing I think people are getting. Not all of your products have to be free. Right. <laughs> right? So not yeah. all your products need to be free. So it's okay if somebody comes in and grabs this, right? So they might grab this for zero dollars and then love it and then be like, wow, I really want to support Katrina. Let me throw it, you know, I'll, I'll buy the memorable mastery or I'm going to get a power hour support yeah. call with her or something like that, right? There is that yeah. inherent human, wow, Katrina really did me a solid. I, mm. She's in my corner. I, I want to support her. And I yeah. think that's, that's a huge piece of the puzzle. I know I have, um, the whole member vault front end is built on uh, a CSS framework called Tailwind and it's yeah. a free library. And I have been dying to support them in some way because it was, it's free. And, yeah. uh, and they came out with like a Tailwind UI component like yeah, a couple weeks ago. And it was like, um, and it was a, you know, it was a pay what you can thing. And I just paid full price because I was like, yeah. I want to support you. I love you guys for doing this. I want to support you. And so I yeah. think that's, that's like the better side of human nature that we're forgetting mm -hmm. about here uh, yeah. with all this. So, 
So that's also, it's good to hear that uh, that is working well for you. So like we have firsthand <laughs> experience uh, yeah. of that. So uh, I wanted to also, do you, do you want to add anything else? I'm sorry. No, and no, really just like what, exactly yeah. what you're saying is that like, if, if somebody is watching this and they're like, eh, I don't think it's for me. Like I, I, yeah. I can't afford to take a loss on my products right mm -hmm. now. Again, like how you said, like it's more people getting exposed to what you do. You're able to help more people. Just because yeah. somebody grabbed the product free today doesn't mean that they're not going to buy a paid yep. product from you tomorrow, right? Yeah. And so if you're if you're worried about you know just somebody grabbing your product for free and running away, you're being very short sighted, yeah. unfortunately. Um, and again, you're probably not doing it for the right reason. Like you need yeah. to be coming at it from a place of support and service. It's, yes. Yeah revenue doesn't hurt i'm not going to say and yeah. especially if you know we're we're all in a scenario where you're you know you're mindful of finances and things like that so yeah. you know do you want all 60 people to grab it for free of course not but you have to be okay with that right that could that could happen but i will tell you from a human nature perspective that is very very unlikely like it's it's you know, it's like um when i go not that i go often but if i ever go to a casino Whatever yeah. money I I bring there, I have to be okay with like, all right, yes, this is this is gone. Like I'm not yes. gonna <laughs> yeah. I'm not like I'm gonna invest in my you know, like, no. Um, yeah. but I do think that's like, you know, just kind of figuring out what your acceptable loss is. Mm -hmm. The last thing I wanna say uh, on this too is that remember nothing is set in stone. If right. you do, everything's an experiment. Literally yeah. everything we do is an experiment, everything you do is an mm -hmm. experiment. So um, if you put something out there for, for, you know, pay what feels good and everyone starts grabbing it for zero dollars, which we haven't seen at all, but nope. if that were the case, you could change it. You can be yes. like, all right, everyone's yep. taking the free stuff. I can't do this anymore. And so no. you set the minimum to something that is well, acceptable for you. You can do that. Yeah. And if you look at like the bottom of the sales copy on my product, like I, I specifically make it look like an addition. And I say for the foreseeable future, because I'm not saying yeah. that this will always be pay what you want. Sure. And, yep. Yep. and if, or when the day comes that I choose to put it to the regular price and keep it at the mm -hmm. 29 or whatever, I'll change the graphics. So that banner is yeah. off. I'll take that little section out. Yep. Um, and the other thing is, is too, is that just because I give people a $0 option or somebody else gives somebody a $0 option, it doesn't mean that the next person has to. Right. Yeah. So I could have very well just kept it three coupons and not had to pay zero and the minimum right. being pay five. Yep. Right. Like there's no, there's no right or wrong. Of that we're going to show too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. There's no right or wrong. So I think yeah. people just need to keep that in mind too. But like you said, you know, you can go and adjust it. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's it. Nothing is nothing forever. So that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you for letting us like kind of like just jump in on your account. Hey, you're more, your person. You are more than welcome. I'm right, proud of it. Stuff. I can't lie. <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. And it is great too. So, and, and just to recap, anyone mm -hmm. who's using Member Vault, an active campaign, um, you know, because obviously support, we just support the Member Vault side of things. We can't take the time to teach you can't everything with an active campaign. Yeah, it's just, yeah. We have to draw the line somewhere. So anyone who wants to dive into the nerdy active campaign stuff you you take the cake with all that stuff i i don't even know i log in i'm like i don't know what i'm doing because you're gonna fix it <laughs> um so yeah so anyone who is doing memorable and active campaigns specifically you know definitely check that out too so um let's look at some other accounts so we have yes. uh i want to get into a couple other ones we'll go kind of quick i want to be respectful of everyone's uh time you know they need to get back to yeah, watching their Life. kids paint their bodies or thing, whatever. <laughs> um, all right. So now yes. we have, I, I, I love, I've loved this account for so long. Carolyn's amazing. Uh, yeah. So this is the boat she's galley. Um, yeah. And she's got the custom domain. So resources.theboatgalley.com. Um, mm -hmm. And all about people that want to like basically full-time sail cruise, which sounds mm -hmm. pretty good right now. Let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, social distancing is easier when you're on a boat. You're just like, hi. Uh, um, uh, so I would, I will say though, little known fact, I used to do the cruise ship thing for four years and man, am I happy that my days on the cruise ship as staff were when they were, cause that's a tough life right now. Sheesh. Lots yeah. of props to those people. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. But, uh, 
Wait, Car- wait, I love wait. Carolyn's account. I, I'd say, what yeah. I will say too, along with the, the, um, you know, the talk of the pay what you can concept, mm-hmm. if somebody's looking for an account to see what it looks like when you have a lot of products, I think Carolyn's up to like 15 yeah. products now. And it's yeah. stellar. Like the way she's got it laid yep. out, the symmetry between her product images, like, you're you know, right, it's me, right. it's not overwhelming at all. I think she's done a yeah. beautiful job at that. She's done an amazing job well as well. Like, so this welcome area looks amazing. She cooked these, like, mm-hmm. you know, uh, these badges into that image there. She yeah. threw a signature down there. I mean, this is yeah. really, again, this isn't, she doesn't have a special type of member vault account. Everyone can literally do this. Um, yeah. But she just was really smart about like, all the graphics are really easy to scroll through and read. All of the text is about the same size, Very short right? And sweet, which is great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I know that she, and everything's filled out too. Like she's got her about, she's got her links. Yeah. So this is a really, really, this is just a great account overall, inspiring wise. Yeah. Um, and then she's using our new feature, the announcement bar. So, mm-hmm. um, so the announcement bar is something, a new feature that we've added since the new design where um, you can add in like a little, call to action right on the top. And so she has like helping you with COVID-19, um, pay what you can abor- afford zero to 19 uh, for their eating well in a tiny fridge. So she even called it out and linked to it. So now I don't even have to scroll through the product, right? I can actually just click on this link and I can go right into her eating, uh, eating well with a tiny fridge. I could have used this when we were doing the RV because um, we had a little fridge in the RV as well. <laughs> Uh, RVing and boating is like the same thing without the water. Um, so yeah, so here's, you know, you can read all about, um, read all about this course. It's, it's just, it's fantastic, right? She's done such a good job. She's got reviews in here, everything. Um, and then you can see, pay what you can afford uh, during COVID-19. So mm-hmm. full price, $19. And then she even has in here, helps me weather the storm as well. I think that's really cool too. There's yeah. this just human... There's just this human aspect of it. Um, you can take 50% off with the coupon COVID. Just call it out. I love it. Yeah. Uh, and then you can grab it for free by doing free. And so she's using the coupon codes as well. So here's her checkout page. Uh, you can add coupon so you could buy, uh, you know, full. You can COVID mm-hmm. that thing for 50% off. You can you COVID can that in. thing. <laughs> you can COVID that thing. It's a verb now, right? It's a COVID. Yeah, it is going to um, be, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, or you could type in free uh, to, to get it for zero dollars. So again, I, I don't know. Uh, I'll have to check in with, with Karen. I believe she checked in on the collaborative. I think she's a big um, fan of pay what you uh, can right now as well. Mm-hmm. So I think she's very much shown up in our Facebook group um, su- in support of this idea. Of, yeah. of pay what you can, especially right now. So um, I think she's doing really well with this, uh, growing her list, engaging her audience, making mm-hmm. some revenue and helping people out. So it really is that like best of all the worlds. And I think that's, that's really, really cool. And I think, I think too, one of the things that um, she potentially is seeing in her account because she has multiple products. And if you actually look through Carolyn's products, they're all, um, relatively low cost offers. So like she's got yeah. $29, $19. I think there's like a cookbook for $12. So it's a very mm-hmm. easy, like even if somebody yep. comes into that um, tiny fridge offer for free, yeah. there's many more opportunities for them to grab her $29 offer, yeah. her $12 offer. I think her most expensive product is like $97 or something like that. So like yeah. there's a oh, lot for people to, yeah. Yeah, she even got like well, storing food, food without a refrigerator for twelve dollars. So yeah, so this is yeah, if, if if a pay what you can like gets people in the door, and this is this 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 pairs so well with the member vault strategy of get them in the yes. door and engage with them, build that trust. Um, and and Cal, uh, Carolyn, this is just such a great example of a very bingeable account yeah. um, and, with a lot of like affordable that, offers. <laughs> and hers lead to other things, right? So like her yeah. pay what you want. I'm, and I imagine she's been very strategic about this, eating well with a tiny fridge. And then you're very likely to maybe go and buy the $12 store your food without refrigeration. Right, right, right. right, right. <laughs> so yep. like, and I'm sure like knowing her that she's probably been very methodical in, in how too. this all yeah. works. Yep. Yeah. Can so you do me just, one quick favor? Can you click yeah. back on her tiny fridge product? Because I just want to touch oh, on uh-huh. one thing that I'm sure somebody is going to catch and want to ask a question about. Oh, can you okay. just go yeah, to yeah. The, can you go to can you go to the checkout form? Oh, uh huh. 
So underneath her terms of service and privacy policy, she has that little information about pay what you can afford and those pictures. Oh yeah, that, that is an embedded graphic. Okay, yep. So you so, can see I'm dragging it around. So it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't think we can see you dragging it on, on our oh, okay. screen. Well, here, yeah, I, I can so, do this. I can open it in a new image, yeah. Exactly. So, that, so she, That's an image. That's not text. Yeah, and then she's got the image of, like, the guarantee bars um, yep. and Stripe yep, and yep. that. So I know other people have said, how did Caroline add this in, and et cetera. Yeah. These are just images that she's embedded yep. in the opt-in checkbox area that anyone else can view themselves as well, too. Yeah. So I just wanted to I like add that. that that's a good... Yeah, no, they would they probably would have seen it and questioned. Yeah, I'm I'm glad I'm glad that you brought that up. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So that's just you know adding adding you know an image tag uh, into yeah. there. So yeah, it's so so funny. I didn't even I didn't even notice. I, I blew right by that. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's great. The next Again, one. Another great example. Yeah. So next we're we're gonna roll through these now. Um. So next one, I love. I actually just. So this is actually one of our users. He is he's one of our community like um what are we calling them happiness hosts or something like that uh, yes yeah, so he's a moderator the but happiness host is the fun title we give him <laughs> yeah so this is this is steve knotts right and this i just love steve has been with us i think for almost like four years now which is just crazy um and we i looked up his user his number once because he wanted to know and it was something like 97 or something he was within the first 100 <laughs> i think yeah. yeah. Oh, he was definitely in the first 100. Yeah. And yeah. he's always just been um, super engaged and super like, yeah, he just dives into all this kind of stuff. So, and yeah. Yeah, we've watched his business grow. Uh, and he's just, a, he's just an amazing human and um, his account is amazing. Like it's, it's, it's so focused now. So um, yeah. yes, I don't personally have a relationship with, uh, was Ableton, Ableton. I'm, Steve's gonna but you know kill me um, but this is so this is the, his audio um, so mix a mix a toucher. so this is it's a software where people can mix my brother's an audio engineer so he knows this um, yeah he knows the software too and so anybody in this niche is this it's is a going very to be, yes I was gonna say this is a very specific niche <laughs> very specific niche but this is but that's great right I think that's yeah. amazing I think uh, a lot of uh, member vault users are serving a very specific niche and this is yeah. a great example of that. So yes. courses.mixintetra.com. Um, I will, again, we'll put the link in there when we post this uh, video and you can see he's got, I, I love that he's got a video in for his thing there. Um, mm -hmm. You know, he's very good. He, he's got the video in the welcome area. He's got his free Ableton resources here. Um, and then you see here he's, oh, I think he almost all of his products are now pay what you want. It looks wow, that Steve. way, yeah. Yeah, Steve Going really big. went into it. Love it. And I love this because he double dipped into it and he even has, he uses his announcement bar uh, to support this on uh, Patreon as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah. he really is leaning into this like tip jar, you know, uh, way yeah. of doing things. And I know that he's doing really well and um, he's in it for the long game where yes. he's just building this brand. He's building this, uh, you know, these Paris. resources and um, yeah. it's just really cool to watch this develop. So. Um, and so Steve did this a slightly different way. And so that's why I was excited. Not only do I want to give Steve a little bit of love and I think his account looks great, um, yes. but he also did this a slightly different way. So uh, I'll go into here the pay what you want. So core elements of electronic music. So there's, yeah, there's Steve. Hi, Steve. There's a, hi, Steve. A handsome devil there. Um, yeah, I just want to <laughs> hang out in that. Like, it looks I was like going to say that. A recording studio basement. Yeah. He <laughs> probably has a lot of fun <laughs> down there. It does look I think a our, our, fun. our first MV conference can be at Steve's house. <laughs> well, I'll be in his basement, like listening to his music. Yeah, that's cool. So anyway, so yeah, so this is great. Um, he's got, look, he's even got these images. Oh man, yeah, it's, it, it's fantastic. Um, so pay what you want. Here's what Steve did, and I think this is interesting. In Member Vault, you can, uh, if you don't know already, in Member Vault, you can add different payment options. And the original thinking behind the payment options was. Well, what if you want to offer something for like one time price of a hundred dollars or a payment plan of two for 50 mm -hmm. or you want to pay, you know, 50 British pounds, like, you know, those options. However, Steve was very clever and he used those payment options to do a pay what you, you pay want. what you want, pay what you can. Yeah. So 
Uh, I think that's a cool too. So now in this scenario, you don't even need to type in the coupon code. It's just here are the options, right? Yeah. So you can choose like, okay, you know, I want you this one, this one, or this one. And you can yeah. see it just, it changes right away. Um, and then yeah. of course, how do you want to pay? No payment needed for, for zero. I'd be very curious. Uh, we'll have to have, I'm sure Steve will see this and comment on this. Um, yeah. How this has landed well for his, for his audience and, and for him. So mm -hmm. um, again, this is just another great example of a different way to do this. And, you know, when people are like, oh, how can I do pay what you want in member ball? And at first I was like, oh, you can't. And now I'm like, turns out there's multiple ways to do it. <laughs> there is. So, and I, and what, I, what I point out too is about Steve's pricing. And I, I'm yeah. sure this is probably the same with, if you click on that one, like the increments to his pricing, yeah. like they're very um, logical in a sense, mm -hmm. right? And I'm sure like if we broke out the math that things would work out to be like 60% yeah. off versus whatever. Yeah. But like, he's just made it very easy for somebody to be like, you know what, right now, I'm comfortable yeah. with eleven dollars, so I'm gonna yep. put in eleven dollars, right? And yep. he's and he's still chosen to offer zero, even though he doesn't have to. Mm -hmm. And then you know, so like I, I like the fact that you can tell he's put yep. in, um, you know, thought process behind right. what the right. options right. are. Yep, I like that as well. I like that as well. Yeah, Good again, and, and, and yeah, it's just it's it, it's a great account. I mm -hmm. I love it. Uh, we'll put in the link for that. Um, and then we have, we have one more, we have one more and then I, I want to wrap this up. So, all right. right. So we have one more that we want to showcase. There's a number of users doing it. And if you're watching this, this one's, like, this one's interesting and we're, and we're posting it, like, go ahead and, you know, share, share your, uh, pay what you want, uh, as well. Yep. So uh, the more examples, the better, I think, in, in scenarios like this. Um, so this one, okay. So this one's great because this is yet another way to do pay what you want. So um, this is Mega Bowl Digital. Babe. Yeah. So I, you know, this is Meg's been. She's a techie nerd. You know, we connect at that level. Um, but she is. She's doing. She, now she's the one that what is in October. She did SE October. She yes. did a big gamification thing, and she blew. She gamified. She won all the awards for that. Uh, yeah. She had like the most engaged account for. Oh God, at least a couple of months standing. Nobody could yeah. knock her off that that throne. So um, yeah, so Meg's always pushing the limit of of what's possible here in Member Vault too. Um, I, I love her brand. I love her account. It, it's just such a good. It's just such a good place to be. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so and the way she's done this now. Um, so obviously for um, like the freebies, like the SEO starter uh, kits and stuff like that. Um, you can do it right here, right? So it's just a free, yeah. free sign up kind of thing. But for her pay what you want, right? Uh, was it the SEO setup success? Yep, yep, that's the one. So in this one, when you click on this, it goes to ThriveCard. Separate. So this well, is- Yeah, this is a separate sales page first. Right. Yeah, and then right. that's linked to ThriveCard, but it's beautifully done. Right. So, yeah, so this is, so we get this question out like, Hey, can I use my thrive card or can I use my click funnels or can I use my, you name it, external tool? Yes, you can. And if that helps you do this, uh, then, then by all means. And so here she's got like, you know, the, the sales page here. Um, and then when it comes time to do this, she goes, yep, I need this. And she has pay what you can until uh, April 30th. So yeah. that's cool too. She even put the expectation of yeah. like, Here's when this is going to end. I think that's cool too. You don't have to do that, but by all means. And then in Thrivecart here, um, and I guess you could just link directly to the Thrivecart. Yeah, you know, she chose to. Do oh yeah, the, she she has a separate sales page. I think she's yeah. had a separate sales page for this product for a while. I might be while. wrong, but I feel I feel like she's had a, a sales page for this, and then she's probably just updated it to support um, the lean towards pay what you want. But yeah, so you could, if you want to keep yeah. things even simpler well, and not have the well, sales page, you could go straight to the thrive cart checkout. Yeah. And that's fantastic. Right. So like use what you, again, this is, yeah. I love the reusability of this. Uh, mm -hmm. um, and so in here inside of thrive cart, 
um, they do have a native uh, pay what you want and she's got yeah. a minimum. So pay yeah. what you can, uh, 25 minimum or, you know, the 149, the full price. So yeah. in here, you know, you can do, you know, anything from 25, 50, wh whatever you want. So this people really can type in what they want to pay. And, or they and can as you discovered, support. Mike, you could also pay 5,000. You could pay you more pay than the introductory okay. price if you want it. <laughs> That's a, uh, if you really wanted to. Meg, if you're yeah. watching this, I, I we were joking. Now. I was going to accidentally <laughs> click this, click PayPal <laughs> checkout, and Aaron was going to be like, "Why? Why? Why? What do we buy? From why do we just stuff? buy?" <laughs> but it's um, only 149 dollars. But you know, if you really want to support somebody even higher, you can do it that yeah, way too. <laughs> yeah, so you can actually you you can go overboard with this too if you yep. want to. Um, yep. But I think this is really cool and. Uh, this is just yet another way to do this. And again, yeah. I, I don't want this to devolve into like a how do you do this thing, um, but mm -hmm. just know that you can do this. And then yeah. we have a help article with how to integrate Member Vault with an external page. So, mm -hmm. you know, when you do go through this, you know, this checkout, um, things happen behind the scenes that mm -hmm. add them to, you know, this this product, which unlocks all these modules and gets them up and up and running. So uh, just to know that that is possible to, to do that as well. So you can yeah. go to an external. Um, but I, I will just add page. to that. I was saying, yeah. I would add to that too, just to say that you don't need to, like not saying that yeah. that's what you were implying, but like somebody, so for example, I have a Thrive Card account and my Thrive Card access is lifetime, right? And I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure Meg's is too. And Meg probably maybe even had that account before she came to Member Vault, right? So she's making use yeah. of the quote unquote tech stack, the available platform she already has access to, to kind of create that full experience. But if you're somebody yeah. that's brand new, just starting with Member Vault, you do not need to get fancy like that. You can do everything you need with your email service and Member Vault and posting yeah. on social media and you're golden. Um, yeah. So yeah, so don't, we're just showing you what other options are available, but don't mm -hmm. feel like you have to, you know, go to that length unless you really want to. Yep. I, I love it. I love it. Well, that's, that's our last example today. So I real quick want to go over through this. So, um, so, you know, we started out, um, Katrina, which, uh, she seems cool. So Katrina, <laughs> she, okay. she, she has a, a little nerdy. good, uh, for her <laughs> memorable active campaign crash course. Uh, then we have Carolyn at boat galley, uh, who, put in one of her, one of her, um, you know, courses as a uh, pay what you can afford with using the announcement bar to announce it out. We have, um, Steve who has, looks like he, all of his products are pay what you want right now, yeah. uh, which is cool. Oh boy. Um, That's and, awesome. And then we have, uh, Meg who has one of her products using an external, uh, sales page that people can really type in what they want, but she's got a minimum in there too. So, you know, you I can't like get that, it for zero, yeah. but you can get it pretty cheap too. So yeah. I, I think this is just an amazing showcase of like just how flexible Member Vault is and just how you can adapt your business to mm -hmm. what's happening right now. So, yeah. Yeah. I think, I think that's, that's a really cool. good point is just being adaptable to as business owners, right? And not, yeah. not expecting people just to come and buy your stuff, but seeing what yeah. you can do to adapt your messaging so that you're fitting with the times and fitting with people's scenarios yep. and their pain points and that's, and a, again, that's just the, nothing is set in stone. Like, right. you know, everything bounces back to, to normal and everyone's walking around with hundred dollar bills again, and then you can change it, you know, like it, yeah. it, it's, or, or you might find that you love the pay what you yeah. want mentality or concept, and you might keep one of your products that way. And you know what, Steve might change some of his back to regular pricing, but he might keep half of them as pay what you want, right? Like it might just mm -hmm. be a methodology that you end up falling in love with. So it's worth trying in the grand scheme of things. There's you're like, there's really nothing to lose, right? Yeah. In the grand scheme I, I, of things. I, and I, I want to add on to this, just the, just uh, Aaron will, will laugh at me. Um, but this is one of, I, I'm a nerd as you know. And so I get into like, um, like Linux distributions and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And Linux is like free open source software and blah, blah, blah. And what I think is really cool is there's, there's a distribution that has become incredibly famous for being so polished and beautiful it's called elementary mm. OS and um, through the open source like standard you can't like it can't be like a pay thing you know like you have right. to like it has to be able to be free um, yeah. and they have that right but there's pay what you want so this is such an interesting concept they're the only um, like 
I think this is this has to be the only operating system, computer operating system that is pay what you pay want. Pay what you want. That's and you and so you can type in zero, right? And it just says download, or you can type in twenty or whatever. What's yeah. interesting about this is when I first saw this, I thought how goofy. Everyone's just going to come in here, type zero, and download no. it. Like, and that's not what's happening at no. all. So this no. has been one of the most well-funded uh, open source projects mm -hmm. out there. And they even have a, um, so there's a, an inside of this too, all the applications that you get in there too are pay what you want. So even yeah. in their app store, their entire app store for a software that you want to download into there is all pay what you want as well. And they've been wildly successful at this. So yeah. um, this is, clearly isn't a member of all the account, but it's just something that like, I ran into that in my, in my, you know, daily life. And I was just like, yeah. wow, like, that's so cool. I didn't think that was the same fears, basically. That yeah. it wasn't going to be a thing that you could do. Yeah. Uh, and and I think, I think if you are, I think you'll find, you'll find that people will surprise you. Like, even for me, I knew that doing a pay away feels good product. I knew that some people would pay. And honestly, yeah. I probably, I, I think I assumed or I expected that most people would pay like five, maybe a couple yeah. of people might pay 10. Yeah. The fact that the vast majority have paid 15 and that several people have bought the full price, even though they yeah. didn't have to blew my mind. Like yeah. it's from a social experiment, like a people behavior yeah. experiment. Like, so I, I really do think that if you are feeling resistant to the idea, try and switch your mindset to being one of a bit more of opportunity and let people surprise you. Like just do it for a week and see what mm -hmm. happens. And you know what, if unfortunately people grab it all for the lowest price, which I don't think will happen, but you know yeah. what, then you know what, you're not committing to it long-term. You try it for a week and you know what, cool. I gave them the opportunity. Now yeah. it's going back to full price. Right. Yeah, Easy peasy. I think it's worth, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Yay! Oh, I love this. Well, Katrina, this has been, uh, thank you. This has been fun. I, think I still, we, we I still have some coffee left, too. I was just going to say, I'm out of coffee. I, I'm down to the bottom, which means it's the end of the show. <laughs> um, <laughs> that would be a funny timer, right? Like, how long is the, yeah. how long is the show? Well, until my Oh, I can make them really time. quick if it's based on my <laughs> coffee mug, especially if it's my first <laughs> Right, really. Like, all right, let's cut and run. We got to get out of here. <laughs> Well, thanks so much. Um, again, if you don't have a member of all account and you're listening, why don't you by now, if you've listened this far, uh, go to mm -hmm. memberbot.co and just grab a free account. Um, obviously, if you are a user free or paid, um, just thank you for being here. Uh, reach out to support if you need any help. Obviously, if you're not already in our Facebook group, the Facebook Collaborative, join because all these discussions are happening there. This is how we yeah. found out about all of these people doing this. Um, yeah. was in our, we just have an amazing community. So um, by all means, and I think you just, we'll all get through this, right? Yes, exactly. And you know what? I do believe at the other side of it, we will all be stronger and wiser. Yep. I love it. All right. Yeah. Well, thanks so much. Okay. Have a great day. Take your ring back. <laughs>